Nigeria Super Eagles duo, Calvin Bassi and Alex Iwobi were in sparkling spectacular form for English Premiership side Fulham uh, during the weekend when they went away to Old Trafford, the Old Trafford Stadium of the great Manchester United and handed the host a 2-1 defeat. Goals uh, from Calvin Bassi in the first half, in the early minutes of the first half, and then a late winner by Alex Iwobi. After Man United had drawn level late in the game, Alex Iwobi scored uh, the late winner for Fulham to break the hearts of Manchester United, uh, running uh, with Fulham running away with all three points. It was a fine weekend for the duo and for Alex Iwobi particularly, it was a very good repost to many critics of his uh, game, uh, many Nigerian critics of Alex Iwobi following Nigeria's disappointing loss to Cote d'Ivoire in the final of the African Nations Cup. So many fans of Nigerian football had picked on Alex Iwobi, uh, criticizing him for what he felt was his poor performance in the Nations Cup. There were some voices, some uh, more perspective voices, uh, some voices that showed a lot of uh, good perception uh, who argued that Alexander Iwobi was playing in a position that was not, uh, he was not accustomed to as part of a central midfielder in a 4-5-1 formation. Uh, but many fans were not having any of it. They felt that Alex Iwobi did not really do well at the Nations Cup. And some went as far as cyberbullying cyber cyber bullying the player and uh, one online uh, social critic a very popular online social critic in nigeria the very dark man uh, went ahead as to make some very sweeping statements against iwobi at first uh, the very dark man had said that uh, he wasn't sure if uh, iwobi was really a biological nephew uh, of uh, the great austin jj okocha um, after some backlash the very uh, dark uh, black man uh, retracted that statement, apologized, but went ahead again to make another uh, rather naive statement when he said that uh, he was uh, quite sure. Uh, he suggested that Alex Iwobi's place in the national team was a result of some corruption and that according to the very dark black man that there are some very good players or better players who could have played uh, much better in the Super Eagles uh, than Iwobi, but that they were not invited uh, because, uh, probably because Iwobi was able to bribe his way in. It was quite a naive statement, a statement that uh, ignored uh, the fact uh, that uh, Alex Iwobi had been playing for Arsenal even before he got, into, uh, got a call up to the Super Eagles. And who was the coach at Arsenal that time? Who picked Alex Iwobi? The very great Arsene Wenger. You guessed it. Yes, if Arsene Wenger has deemed Alex Iwobi good enough for one of the best teams, one of the most followed teams of world soccer, Arsenal, then surely that kind of uh, that player would be good enough for a team like the Super Eagles. But for the likes of the very dark black man, uh, he, he feels that uh, there was some corruption involved in Alex Iwobi's uh, inclusion in the Super Eagles. But Iwobi, to his credit, has not really given uh, the critics uh, a, a, a lot of attention. He has not uh, responded to the critics apart from doing so in the field of play. And how well did he do? Spectacularly well against uh, the great Manchester United uh, during the weekend when he put up a spectacular five-star performance and wrapped it all up with a good goal in the weekend to break the hearts of Man United and also to silence his critics who feel that uh, he is not a good enough or a quality enough player. So congratulations to Alex Iwobi. Congratulations. Uh, hopefully Nigerian fans, true lovers of Nigerian football, we hope that Alex Iwobi would uh, find uh, a, 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 a good tactical position in the Super Eagles and continue to do as well as he is doing in club football for the men's national team of Nigeria. I am Nelson Daffe for News Express Nigeria Television Sports.